This is David Spears, Civil Engineering Instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 2301 statics. We've got a 3D moments problem here. We've got a, uh, a rectangular box to give us some coordinate points and uh, a force, 6.3 kips, acting from point B towards point E. So point B is down here and it's acting towards E up here in the upper left hand corner. First part of the problem is to express the uh, force F as Cartesian. We're given its magnitude and we're really looking for in its components which is really F U. We want F the magnitude times the unit vector in that direction and multiply those scalar times of, of the vector, unit vector, and we'll get the uh, Cartesian form of the vector. So what we want to do to get U is first we want to get a position vector from point B acting towards E. So we would think of that position vector as this one. I'm not going to draw it all the way, but I will draw that much of it. It would be R e over b from the way we've had our nomenclature tip minus tail tip over tail so we could get r e over b by taking the tip minus the tail the coordinates so we need the coordinates of e well e is right on the z axis so it's at 0 0 11 the units are feet for all these coordinates Point B lies on a line parallel to the x-axis, so its coordinates would be from the drawing 16 in the x, draw it over here, 16 in the x, 8 in the y, and 0 in the z direction, because it lies on the x-y plane. Now we've got everything we need to know to get this unit vector, this position vector, and then the unit vector. Tip minus tail is 0 minus 16 i plus 0 minus 8 j plus 11 minus 0 k. Doing the math, that's equal to negative 16i minus 8j plus 11k. Now we want a unit vector, which is just divide that, the position vector, by the magnitude, or the square root of the sum of the squares. So we divide that number by the square root of 16 squared and 8 squared and 11 squared. And we get the unit vector, looking like this. This all 16, 18, and 11 squared works out to be, and square root of, works out to be 21. So we have fractions of 21, 16 21st written out as a, uh, as a decimal is negative 0.7619i minus 0.38 one O J plus point five two three eight. My line is not very straight. K. Now I want to go up and use F U and multiply all those values times this six point three kips magnitude for the vector. And I write it out, do the math, it looks just looks like that. Like this. F is equal to negative 4.8i minus 2.4j plus 3.3k the whole units are kips and that's the answer kinda of messy hope you see what I'm doing So, that's the first part of it, and then, as you would expect, I want to find the moment of this force, F, about 
two things, the point D and then eventually line OA. So part two is I want to know the moment about point D. So I look on my equation sheet and I see that moment about a point is equal to R cross F. Well, in this, I'm going from point D, so let me get the coordinates of point D up here. It lies on the x-axis. It's 25 in the x, and then 0 and 0 in the y and the z. And I want to go from, take moments about point D, caused by the force. And I could go to point E or point B. It doesn't make any difference. I'm just going to choose to go from D to B, so my position vector would be called R B over D. Tip over tail, B is the tip. Therefore, R is equal to 16 minus 25 I plus 8 minus 0 J plus 0 minus 0 K. The math works out to be negative 9I positive 8J 0K. Also for my equation sheet I see that a cross product is a 3 by 3 determinant that looks like this. We have unit on the top, in this case it's IJK. We have the position vector in the middle, which is what I just got there, nine, negative 9, 8, and 0. And then on the bottom I have my force vector. So I have unit on the top, position in the middle, force on the bottom. And the force is that what I just figured in part 1, negative 4.8 negative 2.4 and positive 3.3 so whenever I'm doing these things I have to remind myself I'm going plus minus plus plus minus plus for those three columns and I evaluate it out as I times 8 times 3.3 minus 0 I'm just using this little determinant right here, 2 by 2, then minus j, and I'm using those outside numbers, the 9 and 3.3, .3. I got minus j times negative 9 times 3.3 .3 minus 0, finally plus k times this little determinant over here, which works out to be negative 9 times negative 2.4 minus 8 times negative 4.8. Do all the evaluation of that and I get that's 26.4 positive I plus 29.7 J plus 60K. The units of all these things are R is measured in feet, the force is in kips, so multiplies those together and I get feet kip, foot kips. That's the answer. Finally, I want to know the line, the moment of line F about line moment of force F about line OA. OA is here along the x-axis. Well quickly, O is at 0, 0, 0 of course. A is at 0, 8 and 0. So I look at my equation sheet one more time and I see that the moment about a line is 
I think it says M axis, but anyway, we know that's a line, is U of the line dotted with R cross F, where R is from any point on the line to any point on the force. So the first step is to get a unit vector from to represent OA, and that's just the y-axis. It's really just 0, 1, 0, but the math works out like this. Zero, U of OA, I want to get a position vector first, which is 0 minus 0, I. 8 minus 0, I'm going to go from O to A. It doesn't make any difference, it all comes out in a wash. Plus 8 minus 0, J. Plus 0 minus 0, K. Uh, skip, skipping a step. Then I want to divide by the magnitude. Well, the magnitude of that thing is 8 also. Square root of 8 squared. So the unit vector is like I just said, 0i, 1j, 0k. Then I need another unit, I need another position vector from any point on the line to any point on the force. I could go from O to E, that would be a nice convenient one, or I could go from A to B. I could also go from O to B, but that would involve, uh, I want as many zeros in my determinant and my position vector as possible. So I'm just going to go from O, from A to B. From any point on the line, A, to any point on the force, B. Call that R, B over A. So, look at my, uh, Equation sheet, this dot product with the cross product is a 3 by 3 determinant that looks like this. On the top line, I have unit, but in this case, my unit has uh, numbers instead of uh, IJK, and it's just this thing I just figured out over here, 0, 1, 0. My position vector is from A to B, so I'll just kind of do that and write the numbers out. It's 16 minus 0 in the x, just doing tip minus tail, 8 minus 8, or 0, in the j, and 0 minus 0 in the k. On the bottom row, that's position, in the bottom row I have force, and that's the same numbers I saw for in part 1, negative 4.8, negative 2.4, 3.3, Evaluate that out. The first column and the third column are zeros. Only thing I have to work with is the one in the middle, top row, times the outside numbers of the bottom two rows, 16 times 3.3. .3. And that equals 52.8 foot kips. Units, once again, feet times uh, kips, U of the line is dimensionless. That's my answer.